What's good guys, Darkest Raider. This is my review for Starhawk. Starhawk is a game that you would definitely want to check out if you're getting a bit, tad bit fed up with the traditional online shooters. It offers a lot of variety. Uh, the gameplay is never really the same. Dropping buildings out of the sky, dropping things to help you in battle, uh, garages and repairs, stuff like that. Starhawk, the main star of the game now transforms into mechs. Mechs really the overpowers of the whole game definitely do not get this game for the single player. The single player eh, wasn't really that good. Uh, they tried to be they tried to throw some tragedy in the single player. Some guy I didn't really care about ended up dying and it was like eh, it wasn't really a touching moment for me. The Story mode tries to act like a tutorial, but I didn't think it did a very good job because really they don't even show you how to use every weapon in the game that's in the air and on the ground. If there's any reason to get this game is for the multiplayer, uh, competitive matches, clan matches, all the good stuff. You've got different weapons that you don't find in your ordinary shooters. Futuristic space technology. This game is the sequel to 2007 hit Warhawk, which I fell in love with. Uh, but I don't really feel Starhawk to exactly live up to Warhawk. I kept saying they should have came out with Warhawk 2, but they didn't listen. They decided to just come out with a completely different IP. They say it's a spiritual successor to Warhawk, but mm, not to me it is. It's not. It's just not. Gameplay-wise, it does pretty much everything right except for the melee. I don't like the melee combat. Okay, I know the knifing system on Warhawk wasn't perfect, but on here it is just completely unorganized. I mean, if two guys one from on each team are trying to knife kill each other you guys are just running around in a big circle and then eventually bam one one of you guys gonna get the kill and when one of you guys do get the kill it's like you don't, you're not even sure how it happened like there was no skill that took place it was complete luck uh, besides that one flaw that I have with the game that and the story mode story mode was pretty uncalled for they should have just did it like Warhawk. They should have just had no story and had a tutorial session. Because the tutorial in Warhawk actually does show you how to use every weapon in the game. But if you want to be an expert in the game, multiplayer wise, I do suggest that you play some of the story. Because it does show you how to fly the Starhawk. Before I played the story mode, I was completely lost on how to fly that crap. Uh. Starhawk is a good multiplayer game. It does something new. I, I wouldn't really say it's a first buy, brand new type. Uh, it's a game you'd probably want to rent from Gamefly or just pre-owned from GameStop. As a final verdict, I'll give it a... I give Starhawk a 78%. Uh, gameplay, B+, story, D-. minus. Game appeal. The game appeal for me and Starhawk wasn't that great. I mean, I didn't see anything about the game that made me keep wanting to come back to it. But I do. Only reason because of that, I mean, I guess I was a little fiscal on time. But now that I got some time, Omni now being summertime, I probably do see myself playing it a lot more often. That is my review for Starhawk. Uh, Raider out.